uh, my first collection of short stories uh, called Ford County. Ford County is the fictional setting for The Time to Kill, my first book, and a couple of other full-length novels since then. The stories are all about people that I, they're all fiction, they're all make-believe, but it's, <coughs> excuse me, these are the people I knew in the small towns uh, in Mississippi, the lawyers, the clients, uh, the criminals, the good guys, uh, and the bad guys. Um, it's a work that went on for almost 20 years uh, because I never knew how many stories I was going to finish or when they would get published. Uh, the short story writing was a different process, a lot of fun, and a lot of humor. Um, I write about lawyers, and most lawyers, contrary to the way I portray them, most lawyers are uh, honest, hard-working people who don't make a lot of money. Nobody wants to read about those people, okay? You want to read about the lawyer who does something crazy, steals the money, fakes his death, whatever. That's the story. I take the extremes, and in the profession, the legal profession, uh, there are plenty of good stories. There are plenty of lawyers who get in trouble. There are plenty of stories about courtroom dramas, lawsuits, trials, things like that. The material is endless, but you've always got to have some bad guys to make the story work. Almost, almost every one of them, and I can't think of all seven right now, started off as a possible novel. Writers collect a lot of ideas uh, from, they come from everywhere. And, 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 and I collect them, and I just, I write them down, I put them in the computer there, there's a file there filled with ideas for novels. It, it may be something I heard, something I read in the newspaper, see on TV. Again, there are always a lot of ideas about lawyers. Um, most of those, those ideas don't work as novels. Uh, but when I, when I took the, when I made the first notes for these seven stories, I probably thought they were going to be novels. And they just didn't work out. They, they, they were good stories, but they weren't long enough to be full-length books. And over the years, as I would get a new idea and work on it, I, I'd, I'd pull out a short story and tinker with it for an hour or two, maybe add something new, maybe have a new idea for a particular story. And it was a process that just kind of accumulated over, you know, 18 or 20 years. So it was just a, it was something I didn't plan. Uh, the legal thrillers are very carefully planned. It's a very tight schedule. I mean, I know what I'm going to be doing, you know, what I'm going to be writing next spring. I know what's coming in the next 18 months. The American law system is so big, uh, and, there is so, and, and you have the criminal side and you have the civil side. And there are so many um, good things about both. There's so many, there's so many areas in criminal law and in civil law where it does work very well. And overall, it, it works. But there's so many problems with it, especially on the criminal side, that, it, that, that some serious reforms are needed. Um, I try to portray, you know, I, I really do try to be accurate. Um, I'm not known for being accurate, but I really try if I'm writing a book about a big law firm in New York, like in The Associate, um, that's a fairly accurate picture of how terrible that life is. Uh, if I'm writing a story about corrupt elections for judges, as I did in The Appeal, uh, that's a pretty accurate depiction of what, what happens. So yeah, I think overall I, I, I stick to reality. I think so. I try to. 
I've been much more successful as a writer than I was as a lawyer. I was only a lawyer for 10 years. I was very young, from the age of 26 to 36. And it was not very successful. It was like some of these characters in the stories. It was a small town. Um, it was not profitable. There were too many other lawyers, a lot of frustration. And a lot of that frustration spilled out into my first book, A Time to Kill, because that was a lot of autobiography in that story, about just the frustration of being a small town lawyer and the dream of a big case. As far as the um, distinction we have in our country between what is literature and what is not, okay? Um, it's an impossible, it's impossible to define. However, once you sell a lot of books, you're never gonna be taken seriously as a literary artist by the critics. I don't wanna be taken seriously as a literary artist by those critics. Uh, I, what I do is, what, 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 I, what, I, what I aspire to do, what I hope to do, is to write a high quality of popular fiction, and there's a lot of junk out there. There's a lot of bad stuff, you know, everywhere. I want to write good stuff for the, for a lot of people to be entertained. Well, I don't I, I, I don't I don't do it very often. Uh, reading in public takes a certain amount of um, I don't know, dramatic flair or you know a, a t the talent to be able to connect with an audience. And I don't even pretend to be able to do that. That's why I don't do it very often. Um, so I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get through it together, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's pretty nerve-wracking. Because when you read, when I read my stuff, it seems like um, five minutes seems like an hour when, you, when I read my stuff. I'll usually go to the office at my house uh, at about 6 in the morning. And the office is, uh, that's the best time of the day. The first two or three hours, from like six to nine, when there's no other, there's, you know, there's no racket. There, there no, my office has no phones, no faxes, no internet. It's uh, just me and the computer. Uh, same cup of coffee, same kind of coffee, same everything, very strong. And, and, I, and um, that goes, I mean, I'll, I'll work until, 11 or 12, with almost no interruptions. And, excuse me, a good day uh, is maybe 10 pages. A slow day is five, but there are no down days. If you, you know, you do that five days a week, and before you know it, the pages are really piling up. Uh, by noon, um, after writing for five or six hours, your brain is pretty well uh, gone, so I'll go. I'll usually go exercise or you know go jog or something like that. That's that's kind of the ritual.